Hello, hello, and good morning on this beautiful uh, Saturday, November 11th, 2023. That's right, it's 11-11. I think we're supposed to make a wish. <laughs> At least that's what I used to do when I was little. I kind of still do when the clock says 11-11, things like that. So let's all make a wish for a very happy, prosperous, safe holiday season for ourselves and those that we love. All right, so woo, 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 last night when I left you, by the way, this is part one on uh, part one and a half. We'll call it part one and a half. How do you like today's look? Hmm? I went with the silver mood rings. Uh, I told you for my birthday, I bought a whole lot of mood rings and uh, all silver jewelry today. Uh, butterfly from someone I, I care very much. Oh, it's on backwards. Hold on. Let's get that the right way. She was a very dear friend of mine and a very, very smart woman. So, sort of like when I wear my daddy's robe, when I want to channel his strength, I wear this when I, when I want to channel her very wise and uh, strong womanly ways. So, on that note, uh, and I hope you like it. And my makeup, woo, I'm wearing quite a bit of it today. I want to be a glamorous kitchen, a glamorous chef, I should say, in the kitchen. <laughs> and by the way, welcome to my kitchen. Okay, so, this is my turkey. Now I did the, uh, it's a 13.69 it's a uh, pound turkey. It's going to take approximately two and a half hours to cook, but since I'm baking the stuffing inside the turkey, it might take a bit longer. So I had to purchase a, a meat thermometer. Now I want this turkey to be 165 degrees under each wing, and then right about where I guess the heart would be, you know. Uh, I think it's if you're facing the turkey, the left wing, uh, you know, on the chest. So, not, and you never put the meat thermometer all the way because the bone will be hotter. So, when it reaches 165, it's ready. So, I did, what did I do? Huh. I got my vegetables ready. There's celery and onion in here. I did that last night. I uh, chopped them very nicely, very small. I was quite proud of myself. The onion, I bought kind of sliced, and then I had to make it smaller. All right, now I'm going to have chicken broth is part of the stuffing recipe. Um, dum, dum, what am I doing? What am I doing? Butter. Butter is another part of the recipe. I went and bought a whole bunch of butter just so I didn't know for sure I didn't run out. One other thing I did was I made some roux for the gravy. Now, the gravy is the sauce at the bottom of the pan, of course, after you roast a turkey, but roux is a little bit of oil or butter, whichever you prefer, with some flour, and that makes the uh, that makes the gravy thicker. So I have my roux, actually it's right here, and I have my whip to, because it's separated, I have to re-whip it, but that doesn't come until much later this afternoon. Alright, so oh, I have sage, and garlic, salt, and pepper. These are my uh, ingredients that I got from a, a look like a really nice, um, what is it, uh, recipe online. This bread is perfectly stale now and ready to roll into crumbs. And uh, yeah, so that is my, and I have more bread as well. That's just, I have more, I was going to save it and eat it with cheese this morning, but I think I'm going to need it all, so. All right, now, once I do the stuffing, then I'm going to make my cookies, but I'm going to do that in a separate video, I think, I'm not really sure. The cookies, what I have to do for them is I take a big bowl, oh, by the way, I need a little frying pan here, I think it's in the dishwasher, yeah, here it is, okay, I'm going to saute my vegetables in here, I think that's the word with the butter and the, the spices, etc., and then put them with two eggs get back in here with the breadcrumbs once I roll them. And then I'll heat that up, uh, and then I'm going to put, no, I'm sorry, do the vegetables first. Okay, wait, then put everything in the bowl, the eggs, yeah, that's right, yeah, with the bread, and then stuff it into the turkey. I'm very, very excited about this. Okay, cookies, what I have to do with them is just take my Crisco and my uh, sugar, and then I mix that till it's like a paste sort of, and then I add uh, my eggs and my uh, vanilla, my baking powder, and my lemon juice, and then I uh, keep adding flour until it's too dry, 
but able to be rolled. Then I put it on wax paper, and I put wax paper over it, and then I roll it flat, and then I, I, I roll it up like that. <laughs> now, oh, I forgot the big thing. Then I put cinnamon on it and do this to every edge. Got to get every edge. And then sugar over that on every edge, and then boom, boom. And they are absolutely delicious. They, they bake for about nine minutes on number um, 350. So that'll be fun. Now, uh, oh, by the way, a little side note. I used to make these uh, cookies. I used to sell them at flea markets a long time ago in Pittsburgh, and I always sold out. That's how good these cookies are. They're really good, too, after a few days. You dip them in hot tea. Yummy. Okay, I like them soft out of the oven. Okay, then, uh, oh, <laughs> when I take the turkey out, I have to remove it from the pan very carefully <laughs> onto a, I have an enormous, like, uh, that pizza tray I showed you, I'm going to cover it with tin foil and then remove the turkey. I have underneath the turkey, by the way, some silver I made like, like this. I made this, this is what you do when I do under a turkey so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Just giving you some helpful tips there. And uh, so when I remove it from the oven, I will uh, take it out of the pan carefully. Put the bird on the tray and then put my, my gravy into a bowl uh, with my roux. If it needs, I have to taste it. If it needs salt, add it. If it doesn't, you know, just, um, oh, if it has too much salt, add water or chicken broth. Okay, so I think that about covers. Oh, cranberry sauce, I forgot to tell you. Oh, I made it last night. It's been in the refrigerator since about midnight. And it's wonderful. I use frozen strawberries, like I told you yesterday, with orange juice and brown sugar and a little bit of uh, the rind of the orange. I forget what they call that. Alrighty, now, um, it just came to me and then it left again. Okay, please, if you'd like to see me make all of this happen, I'm about to do it right now on Rumble, and the link will be below in the description for my new The Usual. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a most beautiful day. Please leave a comment underneath. Tell me what you're doing and how you're doing, and uh, thank you, as always. And if you do enjoy the content and you uh, like the page and you're able, please uh, feel free to contribute to the channel. Uh, there's a PayPal link below in the description as well, and there is also a P.O. box. You can send me things. You can send me anything, really. It doesn't have to be monetary. Uh, you can send me a card, you know, uh, anything you want to see me wearing. I'll be most happy to wear it with a reason. And, uh, yeah, and also the links to my OnlyFans and Patreon pages are on my website, HeidiWild.com. And on that note, I'm heading over to Rumble to start cooking. Yeah, let's get cooking.